So you have two circulations in your body. There's a systemic circulation, the doctor measures your blood pressure in your arm, and then there's a pulmonary circulation which is in the chest, and that's the circulation that moves blood through the lungs and that allows you to breathe normally. So when people get pulmonary hypertension, and they're usually young women, uh, about four to one female to male ratio, they get short of breath, they will often pass out, and it's a life-threatening condition. My research in the area of pulmonary hypertension goes right down to the level of the cell and our most recent discovery which we're quite excited about is the fact that the mitochondria, the power plants of the cell are structurally abnormal in patients with pulmonary hypertension. So we've actually gone to the operating room, gotten cells with permission from patients, looked at them under a microscope and discovered this new structural abnormality. We've identified the particular protein that's abnormal and we figured out why it's abnormal and then we've targeted it with a small molecule and when we fix that problem we can make these cells stop growing so rapidly and uh, get rid of the abnormal cells in pulmonary hypertension. It is interesting that this mechanism seems to also work in cancer and so we've taken the same therapy, the same idea of blocking this fragmentation of mitochondria which is called mitochondrial fission and we've targeted that both in lung cancer and in pulmonary hypertension. People tend to like ideas that are in vogue at the moment, so if, if everyone's talking about it, it seems like a good idea, it doesn't take much courage to explore that, but the big ideas in science usually sound wrong when you first hear them. Ideas come from funny places and sound odd, but in fact, um, you know, that's often where the truth lies.